Hey, what's up guys, Alien Rides here, and today we are gonna look at the Gotway D10 electric scooter. That's right, I said Gotway, a company who's known for making high performance electric unicycles is now making electric scooters. And this is their first model, the D10, and I believe the first unit in America. I think their electric unicycles are super awesome. They're super compact, powerful, and really portable. Get me around anywhere in San Francisco. I currently own their Nikola M Super X and Monster electric unicycles, and I'm super excited to see how this scooter performs in San Francisco. So let's check out some ride footage while I give you some first impressions. Subscribe and let's ride. So first, let's unbox this beast of an electric scooter. The box is huge and there's an insane amount of foam pieces to get the scooter out. My hunch is that this type of packaging is just temporary since this is the first D10 in the States. Using pre-cut packaging would likely save them a lot of time in the future. So now that the unboxing is done, let's look at some footage of a ride around San Francisco and I'll give you some thoughts on this power scooter. Gotway was pretty smart here. Since they have an awesome electronics package for electric unicycles, they decided to transplant it into an electric scooter frame. I'm not sure what scooter frame they're using, but it definitely looks like an OEM frame. It's big and blocky, and provides plenty of room for a large battery and controllers. Given Gotway's history with making powerful electric unicycles, they are pretty experienced with delivering an awesome set of electronics. For this scooter, they have a few different configurations available and we're testing out the 100 volt battery with dual motors. Very few scooters are currently sporting 100 volts and Gotway is one of the first. They could potentially have one of the world's fastest scooters on their hands, but they don't have a huge amperage output on this model, so the performance is in line with most other power scooters. For now, you're going to find yourself with comparable speeds to other beasts like the Dualtron Thunder with speeds near 50 miles per hour or 80 kilometers per hour. The motor output is spec'd at about 3,500 watts each for a total of 7,000 watts of peak power. The torque and acceleration is awesome and it's super easy to spin both tires when launching if desired. This scooter had no problems rocketing up the steep hills of San Francisco and had plenty of power to hang with our group of fast paced riders. The 100 volt battery has 1,800 watt hours, so an 18 amp hour battery and charges in six hours with the included 3 amp charger. This scooter uses the new LG 21700 cells, which have awesome capacity for their size. Gotway lists the range at 74 miles or 120 kilometers. In my real world test though, I got about 25 miles of range on a full charge. This is with constant acceleration, hill climbs, and top speed runs. I'd say this scooter has about similar range to a Dualtron 3 and a little bit less range compared to a Dualtron Thunder. The tires and suspension are great, it handled bumps and off-roading with ease. The tires also seem to be the same as my Dualtron Thunder. At more than 100 pounds or 46 kilograms, the D10 is an absolute beast. I wouldn't want to carry this upstairs, but it's a pleasure to cruise on these larger scooters. It feels super stable when cruising at speed, and the handlebars feel pretty stable as well, with very little play. The scooter stem is foldable, but given how big and heavy the scooter is, it would be rare to find a time when you would actually want to fold it up, possibly only when loading it into a vehicle. Some other features of the scooter include a front headlight, side accent lighting, and rear brake lights. There's not many stores selling these units yet, but the ones that I have seen so far are usually close to about $2,800 to $3,000 US dollars or so. Overall, I think that's a pretty good price point for this package, assuming you get support and warranty. So now let's get into a few things that a fixed would make this scooter awesome. At some point during this ride, I lost my speedometer. It's external and clips in with four pegs and should be placed at this location circled. During the ride, it just came off and unfortunately I didn't catch it on camera. One recommendation I have for Gotway is to use a more permanent installation without having to take it off to charge it. Gotway does have a pretty nice mobile app though so personally, I would opt to mount my cell phone and use that as a speedometer. My primary gripe with the scooter is the electronic braking. The behavior is strange and hard-coded into the controller with no settings to turn it off. What happens is that the electronic brake will automatically engage as soon as you let off the throttle. This is rather unexpected and can cause wobble at speed if you don't immediately brace for braking before letting off the throttle. 
Personally, I think a scooter should only engage electronic braking if you're actively using the brake lever. I've already talked to Gotway about this, and we'll see if they make any adjustments for the future. So overall, while Gotway is on the way to making a super scooter, there's just a few things that lack refinement for an awesome scooter. Additionally, some nitpicks would be the strange packaging, lack of a manual, and lack of scooter settings. I think having their engineers study other power scooters, like Dualtron, Weeped, Curris, and the Zeros, and hopefully listening to some of this feedback, will help them immensely. I'm super excited for future Gotway scooter models, and we'll be keeping a close eye on them. That's all we got for this first review of the Gotway D10. If you found this video useful, please like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you all next time.